Hey, what is up guys? Balokami HD here and today I'm going to show you how to be a real royal pain in the ass or for that matter a real dick and of course with the Russian DDs so let's get straight to it. First of all have a look at the matchmaking. You see that enemy Amagi over there? Yes, that's Irun. In case no one knows him he is one of the more famous and more known World of Warships players on YouTube and he likes to make reviews or in general YouTube videos about gameplay. However, if you look at my division, my division mates and me, you will notice, yes, we choose to play with Russian DDs only. And I think all of us know how Russian DDs play out in that case. Yes. Your basic goal is just stay on maximum range, be a role pain in the ass, set things on fire and just keep shooting while you're hunting DDs and trying to stay away from close combat engagements and rather not use your torpedoes. And now we come to the first part of this game where we basically just pop smoke and start just mowing everything down while hiding inside of our own smoke which it turns out to be quite a nice tactic. So here you have to see we were all usually while playing we are skyping and for that matter that means that we can basically communicate pretty well and don't have to use the chat which means one of us pops smoke and when the smoke is over, the next one will pop smoke and so on. And by the time the third one is done, usually we have either sunk all our ships or the first one has his smoke back, depending on if we're playing with premium consumables or not. Some mostly should play. It is fairly recommended to play with premium smoke as a DD. However, our goal here it was sure from the beginning that it, we might run into enemy DDs, but that's not a problem. Since we are three Russian DDs and we have simply have amazingly fi much firepower, for that matter, to take down whatever comes towards us. As you can see in the far back, we have pushed the enemy a bit back out of the B cap just because our presence is simply intimidating because you know if there is smoke there's usually a DD near and especially if there is three DDs firing out of a smoke screen yeah maybe you shouldn't go there no matter what you do especially as a BB player and that New Mexico over there will get to feel the firepower of three Russian DDs have a look at this just just enjoy the rain of fire that is going to hail down on him and bring down his demise. Just just watch this for a moment. Just look at all the shells. It's ridiculous. And I think at this point everyone can agree with me that three Russian DDs in a platoon or three platoons therefore uh, not platoon not division what the hell I'm sorry three DDs in general in a division are usually overkill and I can just strongly recommend for those divisions to play together communicate because you might be the key turning reason in the game Just look at all those shells hailing down at New Mexico. <laughs> it's just... He must be thinking, what the hell? It probably was a mistake to come over here. And it probably was. And we're not the only ones shooting at him, so his life ended pretty quickly over there. So, meanwhile... While this enemy New Mexico went down, we noticed this enemy Pensacola. And well, why not just stay in the smoke? Let's start shooting HE at him. By the way, if some people of you haven't noticed shooting HE with the Kiev, for example, is not always as effective as shooting AP. 
Because simply you just either don't penetrate or you don't set things on fire as often. Or for whatever reason you will just not be able to do any kind of damage. And as you can see here all the blue shells, since I use mods, the blue shells indicate that we are shooting AP. And I can assure you on 10 to 12 kilometers against any cruiser of any type the Russian DDs will be able to penetrate the cruiser's armor. I run over there thinking if he should come here. Oh, this will be fun. Oh boy, oh boy, this will be fun. Watch this. See? I just sit it all out of the nothing. Oh, we keep just pounding it over there. I slow down here sometimes for a bit just so you guys can enjoy how many shells are coming in and at this point I'm pretty sure that half of their team has at least started writing in the chat that we are either a royal pain in the ass or just not to go to B or at least send someone. Now watch this. These shells were close. By the way, at this point I also do recommend do not just stand around in your smoke all the time. Especially because the smoke usually lasts exactly 65 to 70 seconds until you're back detected again. So if you're just standing around, any good player can basically detect where you are. See? Here I get hit. And it takes out one of my guns. Sets me on fire. But luckily I can repair. And there come the shots from the Amagi. Which also hit and do some significant damage. However, these few shots that took half of my health were significantly deciding on the next step. Now watch this. We decided to rush him. Yes, you heard right. Just go full YOLO. You only live once. Let's do this. Under fire, it doesn't matter. Let's just take down a rune. That's our only goal. Now watch him shoot his salvo at me while I'm trying to dodge. Sadly he gets some hits on me, which again takes some of my health, and now his secondary opens up. And this is where the fun starts. I didn't notice that Miyoko, whatever, just straight for him. Sadly I take another few hits from his secondary and now it's getting really close, really close. So I decide, nope, it's time, I won't last any longer, I'm just going to try to torp. Now watch these torps. First I thought, yeah, I, I know, I torped a bit to the left and straight and I should have more torp to the right, probably, but I thought he would eventually try to turn to the left, which would have made my torps hit, or just keep going straight, which will hit, for sure, just watch it. Sadly Max Mosa and the enemy in our other Kiev died, Juan is torping with his Tashkent, pretty sure at this point that Arun will try to choose the path between those two small islands, which is going to be his demise and yes anytime now there goes the Amagi <laughs> just three Russian DDs and now have a look at the chat this is how you make youtubers or any good players f per se mad rage quit and salty as fudge. Sadly Juan takes some torps there, didn't see the planes coming trying to survive, never mind that. All three of us went down during this one little action here. Whatever was fun was totally worth it. But for now, just have a look at the chat and keep reading. Can one be any more salty? <laughs> I mean sure, you can be salty. And you can complain as much as you want. And you always have the right to express your opinion. But if you're a person that the public is watching on the internet, maybe you should be the one trying to show some kind of respect and well-mannered behavior. I don't know. What do you guys think? Just let, him, let me know in the comments below. Whatever was his opinion. However, thank you for watching. Balokami out. See you next time.